Hey y'all, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a look at the PRS SE Hollow Body 2 with Piezo, or Piezo, depending on how you want to pronounce it, in Peacock Blue Burst. Before I tell you about this very cool guitar, take a second and subscribe below. Thanks very much. So here's our recording this. I'm running this uh, directly into this Katana, uh, uh, Boss Katana 100. And you might be thinking, well, geez, John, you got all these vintage amps, why are you choosing this one? Because the Katana has a really great acoustic setting, and I wanted to uh, give you an amp that highlights the, uh, the piezo in this thing. Um, to me, it's a really cool secret weapon. Not just the, pie the piezo is cool to give you this simulated acoustic thing, but it's also very cool because it's it works well blending with the other, mag, uh, other magnetic pickups. Well, we'll get into that later. So here's the basic details. Um, nothing width is 1.7, the neck is mahogany, it's glued in, and it's, they, they describe it as wide, fat shape, but to me it's not particularly fat, it's actually really comfortable. I think of fat as kind of baseball bat-ish, and this is more just, I don't know, it just kind of fits my hands. It's, and I do like the wide. It seems like it's a very comfortable guitar to play. Uh, Ebony fingerboard, that PRS 25 scale, which I really like. It's kind of a sweet spot. A 10 radius, which very comfortable, very modern feeling. 22 frets. Um, the tuners are these nickel plated PRS design. The body is uh, laminated uh, mahogany sides. Uh, with a beveled maple top and back with a flame maple veneer. And that wood is just, just beautiful. And this is a true hollow body. There's a chunk of wood underneath the bridge, of course, for support. But other than that, it is hollow, which, I, I don't know, the older I get, the more I like hollow bodies. For whatever reason, they just seem to just seem to kind of resonate against you and feel good. And I like the fact that it only weighs 5.44 pounds. So if you're doing like a five hour or a four hour gig, this thing is your friend. Uh, let's see, other details. Oh, the bridge, I do love this old school wrap around aesthetic. It reminds me of my, of my old 54 Les Paul. Um, but the intonation is dead nuts on with this. And I like just the clean lines. I like the simplicity of it. Uh, two PRS uh, 5815S humbuckers. Uh, and they sound great. You got a master volume, master tone, three-way. And then right here, you have the piezo volume. In back, or on the side here, if you don't want to deal with the piezo, just go straight into that. If you do, go into this, and it will give you an option of both of them. Or you could do a very cool thing running one line to an acoustic, say DI or amp, and the other one to a conventional amp to give you that combination of both. But I like them both going to this amp. I think it, it just sounds great. Um, so a very, a very simple, kind of elegant, beautiful design. And I do love these birds. Um, the, uh, the inlays are just great. Just, uh, so that's the basics. Now let me just play a little bit and you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, I came in on the piezo then switched to the, to the magnetic, but let's go back to the piezo a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the uh, acoustic amp setting on the Katana and you can just hear this thing. Now to me, Now, does that sound exactly like you're sitting in front of a really great acoustic guitar? No, it sounds like a really great acoustic guitar with a bags pickup in it run through an amp. It's, uh, I think, you know, acoustic guitars, getting a great acoustic tone live is a challenge because it's always a compromise and they never quite sound like acoustics. But to my ears, this bags piezo sounds really close. And the practicality of being able to switch between 
the two is great. Say you're on tour and doing an acoustic number or switching mid-song, this is a very pragmatic way of doing it. But there's more. I like the piezo actually, I like it kind of with a dirty sound. I like it going straight up and I like it blended with the other pickups. So let me just show you. Say you get like a little bit of a, a dirt thing. That's just a cool tone and then you can feather in a little bit of the magnetic pickups. That to me is a cool tone, you just aren't gonna get any other way. Uh, speaking of pickups, let's get into these a little bit. I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go just to a standard clean tone and you can hear this bridge a little bit without the piezo. <laughs> To me, I, I love that. Lots of clarity. And unlike some clean humbuckers, I find um, just aren't my, aren't, my, aren't my vibe. But I like these a lot. And it might be, I don't know if it's the pickups or the combination of the pickups with this hollow body, but to me, it's just a really expressive musical sound. Now let's put on a little bit of dirt. And I like how you can dial that down and just clean it up. So let's look at the neck pickup. To me, it's just got that great kind of jazzy tone. Just dreamy, right? Then, bringing this piezo a little bit. I love that. I love those kind of acoustic overtones. That's a really cool tone that you just couldn't get any other way. I'm going to bring down the piezo and then bring in a little bit of dirt.
schön, Herr Pieso. Anyway, I dig it. A very expressive instrument. Okay, let's put it in the middle. Add that piezo to that. Love that little dirt. So those are the basics on the PRS SE Hollow Body 2 with piezo in Peacock Blue Burst. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, Instagram, social media stuff. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our magazine. Have it sent right to your house. And why not buy a t-shirt while you're online? This is John Bollinger getting all acoustic-y for you.